probably going to unbox that too. And we might make a little something something for part of the unboxing. Um, I guess we'll find out in the next 15, 25, 30 minutes. I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so I'll have to kind of measure that and figure out where that hole needs to go. And then I got to send these bottom lips out for powder coat. Um, but first, I want to direct your attention over here. And I bought a bunch of stuff, probably spent way more than what it would have cost to just buy one somewhere else, but I felt like making my own. So why not? Uh, so I bought some rollers. These are actually like sticky glue rollers, as you can tell. Uh, but they're 12 inches wide, so I can basically work on these wheels. I bought two of them. I didn't open this one yet. So what I want to do basically is unscrew these guys. I don't know if you can see that in there. And then probably drill two more holes to match this on the outside. And basically just set them up on, I got a little 16 gauge sheet, one by one. It's super stiff. So I figure I'll kind of stand these up off the board a little bit and use this as my roller stand to put the wheels together when I'm bolting them up. Uh, I also got, uh, this is a piece of 3M sticky backing. It's just some rubber. So in case they hit this, it doesn't scuff it up. But yeah, that'll just protect the top of it basically. And I went to Home Depot and spent entirely, entirely way too much on a bunch of basically rubber stoppers. Basically what I was thinking is these will be the bottom stopper and these will then I'll sandwich the sheet of metal in there, run a bolt all the way through, drill a little hole and, and basically bolt these on top here to stand it up off of the metal and roll the wheel. Um, something about like that or a little bit further in. Uh, run these bolts through and hopefully that will let me you know, the, the wheel will sit up off of here and I can roll it pretty smoothly. These things roll pretty well. So I think that'll work pretty nice. So I think I'm gonna try that in this episode. I'm gonna get to use my drill press a little bit. Uh, I got some center punches. Um, so yeah, got some center punches. Make some nice pretty holes. And, oh, and I got my hardware. All the hardware, you know, because we saw it on the wheel already. All the valve stems and zinc plated M7 nuts. Let's play with some power tools. That was a nightmare. Well, one of them was. Obviously this one. Uh, the rod is threaded on both ends and it, I don't know, I guess they freaking use Loctite or something. When I couldn't get it undone with screwdrivers, I ended up having to get a drill and a ratchet to get enough tension to break the torque on these things. Kind of chewed it up a little bit, but I got the rollers off so now I can mark my holes and figure out where I want to put everything together. Hopefully these aren't thread locked, but uh, yeah, we're going to keep going. Sorry, I did that off camera. Self tappers. Or sheet metal, I should say. Cool, one bracket. Need a handle?
safety third, kids. Hoping to use this drill bit to countersink for the the paper there, but it's not quite the right angle, and it just I don't know. I think it's just mad that it's taking very little bit out of the metal. It's kind of like choppy. So I'm just gonna give up on that part. But I'm gonna continue with the regular holes, and then I'll just leave these proud a little bit until I get um, the countersink bit or whatever. Okay, I just cut this down to one foot by one foot. I literally bought one foot by one foot, and it was not one foot by one foot. So now I got a janky cut, but it fits now. Uh, I drilled holes in a couple of these, kind of centered. Uh, I test fit the bolt to go through it, and it's still a little bit too big, so I stepped up the drill size. I'm gonna plunge back through these, and then I'm gonna do the rest of them real quick. And then drill my holes in my plate and see if I can put all this together roughly for now. Alright, let's go.
supposed to, but that's it. I uh, got the, the rubber on there, the feet. I think I'm gonna either get like those little felt pads, put them on there so I can put it on a regular surface, but I'll probably do it on this so it won't really matter. And I'm only gonna do one set of wheels, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, these flex a little bit more than I thought they would, uh, so I might change that. Uh, roll nice and smooth. Let's see the next. So if I'm like caulking or whatever, I can just use the gun, nice and smooth, blah, blah, blah. When I'm bolting, ju 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 ju. Nice and smooth. Yeah. That's it.